Hello and greetings everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon. Now we're continuing our blind let's play of Tales of Element, developed by Lost Benevolence and published by Random Beats Studio. I have to say a thank you, I have to say a special thank you to these two wonderful gentlemen, aka Raheem Jarbo and Lost Benevolence, for hooking me up with a copy of this game to do let's plays and videos on and a review after I finish playing it. Now, in our last video there, um, we, um, yeah, we're starting this over. We're playing the Steam version. Um, got some veggie boost there. That's really good. Uh, it's definitely good to have gener generous items heals there. And we got antidote. And that's right, we got bees. Bees. Nicolas Cage's worst uh, nemesis in all, all his movies here. Um, we're going to have to fight them. So we're just kind of exploring things. We're going to go through the game here. And here we go. Start that up. Sorry. Getting, getting something there started. I forgot to start. Um, but yeah, we're going through. This is the Steam version. The other version I had was... Um, uh, I can't remember. Like, well, it was, I think it might have been an older version of this, but... And... Uh, gotta stay away from these bees. They poison. And uh, I don't want to get anywhere near them from the last time we played. And I got poisoned anyway. Um... Only have one antidote so far. And hopefully we'll end up getting some more. Oh, man, I shot the... What? Come on, I'm shooting that way. There we go. And I think their bullets go through stuff as well. Oh, and I got poisoned again. And we're gonna beat this bee. Maybe. We knocked him out. And we're poisoned. And... <laughs> I don't know what that is. Our status. We have a status effect on us. And, uh... Let's see... And we're just, I got, I'm trying to remember how to get into the menu there. And what button did get us in there? There we go. So what's our status there? Does it tell us? I'm not sure exactly what that is. But hopefully we can find some antidotes uh, and get healed there. There we go. And we found an antidote in time this time. Is our life still going down? Oh man, am I gonna die? I could have swore that um, he got healed there. And we barely got there in time. And we healed ourselves up. Yeah, we gotta stay away from these bees. These bees are... They're no way, no man. They're serious business. Keep our distance. And hit them from afar. Let's see, benevolence. I think I need directions. Where exactly am I anyway? Soldier of Fortune or Lyrical Swordsman? I want it all. I'm never satisfied with just portions. I know. I'm known as random because my style is sporadic. Though my trials have been tragic, I survive with my magic. Hey, this is our good buddy here, uh, Raheem Jarbo, a.k.a. Megaran. He's in the game here. So we got a different looking old man here. Let's see. So he goes, but you're not a spellcaster. 
Mega Ram, but I traverse the land watching for Falsters and keeping a verse in hand. Yes, I understand. I heard your maneuver maneuver like the wind, armed with cutting lyrics and tossing ink pens. Mega Man or Mega Ran. <laughs> yep, right, right, but I mostly just carry my mic buster these days. Yeah, it gets a really cool mic buster like Mega Man. So I see. So you think you can help us with our little investigation? Yeah, it shouldn't be any problem for me. I've been helping out with these sort of thing or with these sort of tasks all over Polyphony. I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's how it goes, folks. Uh, Megaran, I'm hoping I can find a way to help the elements. Someone has to do something about the damage caused by the industry. Industry. Industry? Something like that. Yeah. They won't be an that won't be an easy task, you know. The four elements of hip hop are lost now. Trying to help let's see, trying to help them puts you puts your puts you head puts your let's see, puts you head to head against the industry. Okay, yep, got that down. Megaran, yeah, but someone has to do it right. It's pretty cool to see Raheem, aka Megaran in the game. Um <laughs> It's really cool. He's uh, I really like him. He's a really good uh, rapper. So anyway, let's get back to the game. And we got these mad finals spinning on the table here. All I'm saying is be careful. The industry has its tricks. And if they even caught wind of you being an MC, I know they would subjugate me like they did to most of the other MCs. Yes, that's correct. You know, the industry once subjugated a great MC who was a friend of mine. Everyone knew him. He was brilliant. Undefeated in battles. Undefeated in battle, and his enemies feared his name. But things went wrong after he fell in love with a woman named Melody. This happened before the fall of hip hop around the end of the Golden Age. Megaran, so what did this Melody girl do to him? Well, there was n there was never anything wrong with Melody. What I meant to say is she wasn't the problem. She was a beautiful woman that everyone admired, but... She was kidnapped by a mysterious dark force and he chased after it so that he could save her. It's a strange story, no matter how you look at it, though. Mega Ran? Oh, yeah? What did you... S what? Why? Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, why? So, yeah. Why do you say that? Because of the information we were given on the incident. Apparently, he, he failed many times to save her, and after each time that he failed... He would find himself waking up the next day to the same day of his quest to save Melody. The reports made no sense. I like that look of the background. Megaran, hmm, you're right, it doesn't make sense. So what happened next? Well, you see, after he, after that, he saved Melody with the help of a mysterious man he met during his adventure and became the rapper known as the Black Mike. Mega Man? Whoa, really? Yes, and he's been leading the industry's army of puppets ever since. Mega Man. But wait a minute, you said you were given a report on this incident, right? Mega Man, who gave the report? Um. Cough, I have to go back and take a look at my records. Oh yeah? I think I'd like to take a look at them myself. Maybe you can show them to me next time. Cough. Mm, yes, of course. So anyway, the mission I have for you is to check out the abandoned radio station in the northwest part of the forest. They say that they say that there has been some strange noises coming out of it. We're concerned that some of the some of them industries industry 
crooks have been fixing to reopen it. Okay, well, I'll go check it out then. Thank you. We really appreciate your help, Mega Ran. Report back here when you're finished, and of course, let us know if you need anything. The Writers Guild. Here we go. Feel free to ask if you need. Feel free to ask if you need anything. The Writers Guild resources are open to you. Cool. And here we go. Yeah, let's see what this guy says. He pretty much probably says the exact same things. Welcome to the Writers Guild, but unless you're here to support real hip hop, real hip hop, we suggest you make your way back to the exit. Welcome to the Writers Guild. Our supporters drop in and out of here with useful info, so if you need anything, just ask around. So yes, we're going to ask around, and I think that's a fireplace, and yeah, look at this. We can check out his Mega Buster. His Mega Buster Alpha Charge Cannon, Battle Helmet, Body Armor, and Battle Boots. We optimize him. And uh, his status is just fine. His studio tracks. Oh, this is, yeah, this gets you to the, like, the, the game. So you can kind of, or like, so this, this game is based off an album. So you can listen to the album in the game too, I believe. So it's really a unique, um, interesting thing that's different and that they take from games here. We won't use our inspirations this time as uh, freely as we were. So we got we got some skills here. He got his Buster Shot, um, his other right rhymes, and we'll continue on here. We got to spin these tables. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We'll go down here. Um, yeah, these guys don't want to talk to us. Apparently, they're too busy spinning some mad rhymes there to have any conversation with us, you know, spinning on that table, getting it all done. I was like over here, spinning, spinning, spinning. We'll talk to this guy. If you got rhymes, I got beats. Let me know, man. And we got life after hip hop went underground. Has not been all that bad? We just have a tough time making a living with the skills we have. That's like everyone right now lately. You know, I heard that two of the elements, the B boys and MCs also went underground to hide after the media flooded hip hop with the mainstream junk. So yeah, this is kind of based off like an album uh, talking about stuff. And we're gonna end the game here, and we'll continue on with part three. Uh, three. That's not three. That's four. Three or three. We can do it like this. Move over here to the camera. Part three of our blind let's play of Tales of the Elements, the first chapter. Like again, I have to say thank you to Raheem. Thank you to Lost Benevolence for hooking me up with this game. Um, hopefully my let's plays will do justice for you guys and everything will be great. As I say at the end of every single one of my videos here, flip that bacon. See you next time and goodbye.